Hi Dolly friends, Chris once again, welcome back to my video. Today, I'm going to review a movie, and this is actually a request to sign from my good friend, Chris. Thank you so much, man. He wanted me to review Puppet Master the other day. Well, today, I'm going to review another movie he requested, and that is Shaun of the Dead. Now, this is a movie I've always loved. It's a movie that I've always loved watching. It's so much fun. It's funny. It's clever. It's well written. The acting is great. Um, the effects, the blood, the gore. It's still a gory movie, and it's really good. Um, I've had this DVD for years. It's already, it's actually already broken up here. That's how long I've had it. It's kind of had some wear and tear to it, but yeah. So the movie is, is basically about. Two guys who live together, they're friends, and their names are Sean and Ed, played by Nick Frost and Simon Pegg. Simon Pegg is Sean, and he, and um, he's, he's basically having, has a job, he works. And his friend's lazy, and he's trying to stay there. And then Sean has his girlfriend, who I forget her fucking name. This girl right here. And then comes a zombie apocalypse. And then they had to fight and defend themselves from zombies. Now, this movie is full with filled with tons of fun quotes, like, or is that for a slice of fried gold? Or I think she's drunk. See, they see this little girl in, in their garden, and then Ed's like in the garden. There's a girl, and they go up to her, and she starts attacking them. She's like, "Is she drunk?" And then she jumps on Sean. And she's a fucking zombie. They they push her off of off, and they and she lands on a fucking. I guess tree something and impales her through the chest. And she gets up off of it and you can see the hole in her chest. Pretty cool effect right there. And then you get this um, fat guy. This fat zombie. And then the, them two zombies, the girl and a zombie, are walking towards Sean and Ed quietly. And they're hitting him with fucking records and broken plates and shit. And they just both grab like um like a cricket paddle and a shovel and they just kill them, turns them into mush. And then they have two other friends who is Dio, Diane, I think is her name. And then David, who is her boyfriend, who is a complete dick wall. He's a complete twat waffle. And then we got Sean's mom. Who is such a sweet lady. And um. You got. Her husband. And I tried to save everybody. And there was like this big. Horde of zombies to coming towards him. And it's great. Um. There's a scene where. Um. Sean. Jumps over a fucking fence and he knocks it down. Um, then you see the part, this part where um, his mom, you, you think she's been bitten, but it was her husband. And he, as he's slowly dying, leans in the car with him. He's like, he's saying, you know, how much of a good guy Sean is and so much of, of a um, good person he is. And it's sad because he's dying and he's pouring his heart out to him. Um, and he dies, comes a zombie, and they leave the car. David, who is a complete dumbass, he takes a fucking trash can and just slams into a fucking window. Where a pub is, and they go inside there. And, um, that's basically where the movie takes, takes place at the end. Um... So, some zombies try to get in. There's one scene where they're hitting a zombie with a with fucking um, pool sticks, and they're playing. What's the song called by Queen? 
Don't stop me now, my queen. And they're hitting the zombies with fucking... And, um... The music's playing. It's such a fun scene. And then they ram this, ram this into a fucking record player and, it, and, he blow, and, it, and he gets killed. Um... And you get to the saddest scene in the fucking movie where... You see Sean's mom is bitten. And um, he doesn't know until he's done finding the zombies. And he goes up to her and he's like, Mom, what's wrong? And you see her arms like... Biting her arm. And then you see... He got her flowers and everything. And then you see her just... Slowly slipping away. And it's such an emotional scene. And then David's dumbass pulls a gun to her face and she's like, and he's like, do you want to do it or do you want me to? And then Sean's like, you already screamed at me, like, don't point the gun at my mom. <laughs> and it's like, don't point the gun at his mom either. And then his girlfriend tries to comfort him and tells him, you know, you got to do this or else we're all going to die. Even the ad was such a nice guy and said, you want me to do it? You want me to do it? And David's just sitting there, just not giving a shit, and Sean so just... And David yells at him, and says, this dude, and he just shoots her in the fucking head and kills her, which... That ripped my heart out, because my... She reminds me of my grandma, who passed away. So that's a very sad scene, because she, she... I mean, it's just... It's just an emotional scene, it's so well done, so well acted, and it's such a great scene. And David and he punches David in the face punches David in the face and they're like rightfully so. And he tries to fucking leave and zombies grab him. They try to save him, but they end up like tearing him apart and his guts are being pulled out and I mean they're taking um shit out of him. I mean it's a pretty crazy and brutal scene, but he I didn't care because he deserved it in a way. He doesn't deserve to be killed like that, but he's, he deserved to be fucking at least shot in the head, too. Probably the best kill of the movie is when he's getting his guts torn out, and... It's a pretty brutal scene, but man, he... I'm like... Well, I mean, if you wanted to fucking leave, then you left. <laughs> Forever. And then... Um, all the zombies come in, and one of them bites Ed... And he's dying now, and then he basically goes into like this basement under the pub, and then um these, and then fucking um Ed and or John and his girlfriend go up, and they go up to the roof, and there are these zombies, and this and the mil or like the the um, military people um shoot all the zombies, kill them. And it ends with Sean and his girlfriend living together. And he has Ed and a chef with him playing video games. And he's a zombie. But he's trying to buy him. And he's like, no, no, play the video game. He plays a video game. And the movie ends. And that, my boy, is Sean the Dead. I love this movie. It's great. A great movie to watch. It's a good comfort movie. Um, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of zombie comedies except this. Cooties. And Dead Alive, which is always oh, I reviewed all three of these movies on my channel now, so yeah. I need to get a new case because this is just that is just really bad. But yeah. So with that said, guys, what do you think of Shaun of the Dead? The only problem I have with it is that sometimes the comedies the comedy doesn't really work but other scenes it does know what it's what it is and what it's trying to be and that's all we need um so yeah right, if you haven't seen this movie check it out even if you're not a horror fan check it out because it's, it's it's a good movie for everybody the horror 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 fan or a comedy fan it's a good movie Edgar Wright did a really good job with this movie, for sure. I'm getting, I'm getting up. Yeah. So, with that said, um, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Peace out. Shout out to Chris for, for requesting this movie to be reviewed. And we're going to see you guys in the next video, which will be tomorrow, because I want to eat something, and I, I'm actually going to...
I got places, not places, I got stuff to do, other stuff to do, like sweep my room with a vacuum and take out the trash, so yeah. Me and Sam and Megan, hope you guys enjoyed the video, don't we? Thanks for watching, guys, take care, say bye, Sam. Say bye, Megan. Yeah, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, and have a good night, guys. Peace out. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.